Hello, all doers. Here at Stealthy Wood, the customer is always our first concern. So in order to provide them with the best service possible, we now offer on-site interventions. You know, for when that special secret drawer needs an update before you can start your next world-saving adventure. That's what our customers want, a full service. Unfortunately, we didn't have a solution before to track and optimize these kinds of interventions, but we no longer have that issue. With Odoo Field Service, I can easily see how much time each worker spent on a task, reorganize our agendas with simple drag and drop, optimize workloads, and analyze performance. It also comes with a mobile-friendly app that lets my workers record tasks right there on site, order parts that they might need, and see their next assignment on Google Maps. So let's check this out right now. All right, here I am on my database. Once I have the Field Service app installed, let's go ahead and check it out. So we're gonna go to Field Service. Now, I'm gonna have an overall view of all of the tasks that are happening right now. So actually my tasks that are planned for today or in the future, as we can see here. But of course, we need to create some projects um, where we will organize these tasks. So to do that, we're gonna go to Configuration, projects. Okay, I already have a couple, but let's create a new one right now by clicking on the create button. All right, so first of all, we're going to need a project name. Now I might do this for a type of service that I offer, or perhaps um, for a specific customer or even a type of customer. So for example, I could put a VIP field service. Now this is going to be for all of my VIP customers, so I need to pay special attention. Okay, then right below, I can change what we actually call the tasks. Okay, so instead of tasks, I might want to say um, jobs. All right, then below, we're going to be able to add a project manager. So me, of course, and then I can even specify a customer if I have a project dedicated to one customer in particular. So perhaps in this case, I have a super wonder woman as my customer. Okay, on the right, we're going to have uh, the choice for visibility. So I can choose uh, between all of my portal users and employees being able to see what's going on uh, with these tasks. I can say only my employees or only invited employees, which might be a good choice if I'm working with some VIPs. Perhaps I only want my most experienced and most trusted employees working with them. Then, of course, we can select our company, and then we have some additional options as well. So I'm going to be able to allow my uh, workers to timesheet on tasks, which is very important. And then, of course, I can say that they can bill from tasks. And if I do choose that option, I need to add a product um, that will be used for the billing, of course. On the right, I can say that I would like to add a timesheet timer. So on the task itself, I can actually time precise or add precise time with the timer. Um, so I can start and stop that timer. And we're gonna see that in just a little bit. And then I can save products on tasks as well. So I can have my workers track the material or the products that they're actually using uh, during the maintenance or uh, repair or installation. Okay, and then of course we can add the working time as well. Now, if I go over to the next tab, we can add an email alias as we can for all of our projects. And I can say who I would like to accept these emails from. So everyone, authenticated partners, followers only, or authenticated employees. But I'm actually going to change this project a little bit because I'm not sure you all should know who my VIPs are. I have to um, keep their identities a secret. I had Super Wonder Woman's permission to use her name here. So I'm just going to go ahead and do something simple. Kitchen installation. Okay, and everyone will be able to see this. And I'm going to remove my customer. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and save this. Now, once it's saved, as you can see, I have a few other options. I can always share this project. And then from this project page, from the project configuration, I'm gonna be able to see all of the related information. So all of the related documents, uh, jobs or tasks, as well as the timesheets. So I can always access all of the information from here. But as you can see, I don't have any tasks yet for this job, but let's go ahead and see um, what tasks I already have. So to do that, I can quickly get an overview of my own tasks by clicking on my tasks and tasks here. 
So right now I'm seeing my tasks that are planned for today or the future, but I can always mess around uh, with these filters or how I group. So perhaps I want to see my tasks based on the specific projects or I want to filter on certain things. So maybe I just wanna see those that are to do. Okay, so I can do that super easily. All right, but since I am the manager, I don't just have the option to see my tasks, but I can see everyone's tasks by going to all tasks and then all tasks again. Okay, as you can see that most of the tasks are still assigned to me. Clearly I have a problem delegating, <laughs> but I do have a couple that are either unassigned or assigned to one of my employees. Okay, but if I click on all tasks, I'm not just going to be able to see um, everyone's tasks, but I can see those that are to schedule um, or to invoice. Okay, we don't have any to invoice right now. And then I can also play around with the filters and how I group here. Um, and then I have some different views as well, which are really convenient. Okay, so now that I've shown you how to see everyone's tasks, let's go ahead and create a new one. Okay, so if I click on the create button, the only thing I'm gonna need to add right away is a task title and a customer. Okay, so let's go ahead and say uh, kitchen, whoops, installation, and then I'm gonna add my customer Azure interior and then add. Okay, perhaps I don't have um, the date scheduled yet and I don't know who I'm going to assign it to, so I can decide that later. And then I can quickly come back to it by going to those that are to schedule. Okay, so I don't know when this is going to um, be good to go, so I can go ahead and click on this whenever I know that information and then provide the extra details. Okay, so let's go ahead and say this will be uh, for Monday. All right, and it's gonna be from Monday from 10 o'clock to three, all right? So it's kind of a long process. All right, and then we also wanna be sure that we verify the address, okay? Our workers, of course, do need to know where they're going. All right, and then I can assign it to one of my employees because as you can see, I already had a lot on my plate, so here I will delegate. And then we can add a description and we have some options to edit the text there as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this task. Once we do that, we can always go back to all of our tasks to check out this one for the kitchen installation. Okay, so it's super easy. And something I missed is we want to be sure as well that we assign it to the correct project. I didn't do that, okay? So if I don't assign it to the correct project, I could quickly be mistaken or get mixed up. So I'm going to be sure I assign the correct project right here. Okay, so far so good. Now I have a, a new task. And if I wanna look at all of my tasks, I'm not just gonna have um, this Kanban view or a list view, but something that is so cool and so convenient as I can see what's going on on the map, okay? So I can see where all of my tasks are. So this is really cool because for example, if I have um, multiple installations or multiple jobs, in the same area around the same time, roughly, I can assign one of my workers um, to all of the jobs that are in the same area. So that will avoid a lot of commute time. Okay, and so I have a view here. All right, and then I can click on the specific task. Um, so let's go to the one we created actually, kitchen installation, okay? And these will be done in order um, based on when they're scheduled. Okay, so if I click here, I'm gonna be able to navigate here. So if I click on navigate, I'm gonna be redirected to Google Maps. And as you can see, I, I am in Belgium, so it's gonna take quite a while to get there, um, but it will be make more sense if you're in the same location or in the same area. And I can also edit this job as well, super quickly by clicking on the edit button. Okay, if I go back to all tasks following the breadcrumb, I come back to my map view. Now, something I wanna point out on the right is we do have one that I can't click on here, and that's because for this customer, I actually don't have an address. Um, so even though I will see the task here, uh, I won't be able to see it on the map. So that's also useful to be sure you have an address for everyone. So if I go to all of my tasks, and I go to the one without an address, I click on the customer, I'm gonna see there's no address here. And if I add an address, then I will be able to see it on the map and edit it. 
Okay, so, so far, this application is so convenient and it's going to help so much with Selfie Woods' um, uh, ability to manage field services, but that's not all. We also have a planning section, so I can plan either by user or by project. And as we'll see in another video, you can plan by worksheet as well, but be sure you check out the next video to hear more about that. So I'm going to go ahead and click on by user. Okay, I'm going to have a really nice, um, I'm going to have a really nice view here of everything that I've got going on. So as you can see, I have a lot going on um, today. So if I want to like move some of these things around, um, perhaps I called my customer and I said, do you mind if I actually come on Saturday? Maybe that's easier for you. It will work better with your work schedule. And they say, yeah, yeah, no problem. I can move one of these things. Let's say fix sync. And I can just drag it and drop it to Saturday. Okay, so it's super easy to rearrange my schedule. And then of course I have my calendar view as well. Um, I can look at it by list and the Kanban. Okay, so I have a really nice way to manage all of my tasks or all of my uh, employees' tasks. So that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. And if I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.